Hello students and good morning. So now I'm doing class for class 10. So today also we'll do the same chapter that is concept of measurement of angles. So in the last online class also we were doing the same chapter that is from trigonometry. Okay, we have just started trigonometry in the last online class. And uh, we did concept of measurement of angles in that online class. Okay. So let's do this question now. Let us work out uh, exercise 20, page number 276 uh, from the book Ganit Prakash for class 10 by West Bengal Board of Secondary Education. So now let's start this question number two. Uh, and in the last online class we did question number one. So I hope you revise all the problems that we did on that online class. So let's uh, do this question number two. Let us determine the circular values of the following. So here the angles are in terms uh, the angles are given in terms of degrees minutes and seconds you have to convert into circular measure circular measure means in terms of radians you have to convert this sexagesimal system that is uh, the angles are given in terms of degree minutes and seconds you have to convert into radians that is in terms of circular measure okay so let's do this question now So let's do this question number one. So here question number one is 60 degree. So you have to convert this uh, 60 degree in terms of radian. Radian means in terms of pi. So you know the formula. Therefore we know that 180 degree is equal to pi radian. Okay. So one degree is equal to what is it? Pi radian by 180. So what is 60 degree now? So 60 degree is equal to pi radian divided by 180 into this is multiplied by 60. Okay. So we know this relation 180 degree is equal to pi radian. So in the last online class we derived this formula isn't it? That is 180 degree is equal to pi radian. So what is 1 degree is equal to pi radian by 180? And 60 degree is equal to pi radian divided by 180 into 60. So let us simplify it. So 61s are 60, 63s are 180. So which is equal to pi radian divided by 3. So this is the final answer. So what is 60 degree in terms of radian? It is pi radian divided by 3. So that is your answer. That is the angle in terms of circular measure. Okay. So similarly you can do number two. That is number two is uh, this is 135 degree. So you have to convert this 135 degree in terms of radian. Isn't it? So you have to convert this 135 degree in terms of radian. So you will write 180 degree is equal to pi radian. So or this is one degree is equal to pi radian divided by 180 and then what is 135 degree now in terms of radian which is equal to pi radian divided by 180 into 135 okay so you can cancel here 135 and 180 you can cancel it by 5 so 5 twos are 10 35 5 sevens are 35 5 twos are 10 35 5 sevens are 35 5 lay 180 lakh of the times answer uh, 5 threes are this is 15 30 5 six are 30 isn't it 5 threes are 15 18 minus 15 is 3 30 5 six are 30 then again uh, you can cancel it by 9 9 threes are 27 9 fours are 36 which is equal to this is 3 pi radian divided by 4 so this is the answer so uh, what is 135 degree in terms of radian? It is it is 3 pi radian divided by 4. What is 135 degree in terms of radian? It is 3 pi radian divided by 4. Is that clear? So next, number 3. Let's do this number 3. So minus 150 degree. So actually, 
Uh, we don't have to write this 180 degrees equal to pi radian, 1 degrees equal to pi by 180 like that. So if you want to convert this sexagesimal system into radian, you have to multiply that degree. That is, you have to multiply the angles in terms of sexagesimal system by pi by 180. So in order to convert this degree into radians, you have to multiply that angle by pi by 180. Is that clear? So directly you can write, you can use this method also. That is 180 degrees of pi radian. This is the unitary method. 180 degrees of pi radian. So one degree is equal to, uh, it will be less radian. That is pi radian divided by 180. So 60 degrees is equal to pi radian divided by 180 into 60. Okay. So 60 degree le multiply the zeta answer. The you have to multiply. So 180 degrees equal to pi radian. So one degree is equal to one money. 180 when the less so. The pi bandamni lese unupare, so it should be divided by 180. So pi radian divided by 180. So 60 degree. So this 60 degree is more than 1 degree. So you have to multiply this pi radian divided by 180 by 60. So you will get pi radian by 3. Or you can directly convert this degree into radians by multiplying these degrees by pi radian by 180. Okay. So directly you can convert it. That is is equal to minus 150 degree into uh, you don't have uh, you don't have to write this degree because we are converted we are converting this degree into radians so if you want to convert degree into radians while multiplying it by pi by 180 you can't write degree okay so it is minus 150 into pi radian divided by 180 so it is converted into what radian okay that is in circular major so this zero zero gets cancels uh, this is uh, three five za 15 this is three six za 18 so which is equal to this is minus five pi radian divided by six so this is the answer so i think you have understood it so while converting sexagesimal system into circular major you have to multiply that angle in sexagesimal system by pi by 180. Okay, so that angle will be in terms of radian. So similarly, you can convert this 72 degree. That is 72 degree now. So directly you can convert this degree into radians by multiplying this 72 by pi by 180. Okay. So which is equal to this is 72 into pi radian by 180. Is that clear? So it can be cancelled now. You can cancel it by 6. 6 1s are 6, 6 2s are 12. This is 6 3s are 18, 6 0s are 0. Again it can be cancelled by 6. 6 2s are 12. This is this is 6 2s are 12, isn't it? 6 2s are 12, 6 5s are 30, which is equal to 2 pi radian divided by 5. So this is the final answer. So what is 72 degree in terms of radian? It is 2 pi radian divided by 5. So that is the answer. Okay, so you can copy it. Now we'll do the next question that is uh, number five that is degree and minutes are given you have to convert into circular measure okay so you can copy it i hope you have understood it so you can copy it So now we'll do the next question that is question number five. So question number five is given in terms of degree and minutes. That is 22 degree 30 minutes. Okay. But we know that 180 degree is equal to pi radian. So you have to convert these minutes into degrees again. You have to convert this minute into degrees. So while converting minute into degrees. So what will you do? How can you convert minute into degrees? So you know that one degree is equal to 60 minutes. Okay, 
but we are converting this minute into degrees so so what will you do here so again it implies that 60 minutes is equal to 1 degree because we are converting minutes into degrees okay so minutes should be on the left hand side and the degrees should be on the right hand side okay so you can use unitary method so one minute is equal to one degree divided by 60. so one minute is equal to one degree divided by 60. so whenever you have to convert whenever you have to convert minutes into degrees you have to multiply that you have to divide you have to divide that minutes by 60. Is that clear? So whenever you have to convert minutes into degree, you have to divide that minutes by 60. Then that, and then that will be converted into degrees. Okay. So we know that one degree is equal to 60 minutes. Since we are converting minutes into degrees, so write minutes on the left side and degree on the right hand side. Okay. So 60 minutes is equal to one degree. So one minute is equal to one degree divided by 60. So whenever you are to convert minutes into degrees, so you have to divide that minute by 60. Then that minute will be converted into degrees. Is that clear? So now let's convert this minute into degrees. So which is equal to this is 22, 30 minutes is divided by 60 in order to convert into degrees. Now it is converted into degrees now. Okay. So this minutes, 30 minutes is divided by 60 in order to convert into degrees. Okay. So this is 31 are 30, 32 are 60. So which is equal to this is 22 and half degree, which is equal to 2 into 22, 44 plus 1. So it is 45 degree divided by 2. So now you can convert this degree into radians now. So I already told you that when you have to convert degree into radians, that degree should be multiplied by pi by 180. Okay. So which is equal to now this is 45 by 2 into this is pi radian divided by 180. So in this case, you can't write, you can't write degree. Okay. So 45 ones are 45, 45 fours are 180, isn't it? Uh, four fives are 20, zero, two, four fours are 16 plus two is 18. So which is equal to this is pi radian divided by eight. So we have got the answer, okay? So 22 degree 30 minutes in terms of radian is pi radian divided by eight. So I think you have understood it, okay? So this is question number five. So similarly, you can do this question number six. So here question number six is, what is it? It is minus 62 degree 30 minutes. So in this case also, this minute should be converted into degrees. So whenever you have to convert minute into degrees, you have to divide that minute by 60. I already told you about that, isn't it? So this is the method now. Okay, so minus 62, 30 divided by 60 degree. Okay, so 31 is a 30, 32 is a 60. So which is equal to this is minus 62 and half degree. So let us convert this mixed fraction into fraction, right? So this is minus sign, 2 to the 4 plus 1 is 5, right? 2 are 4 plus 1 is 5. 2 6 are, this is 12 divided by 2 degree. Okay. Now you have to convert this is, uh, this angle is in terms of sexagesimal system. Now you have to convert into circular measure. So whenever you have to convert sexagesimal system into circular measure, you have to multiply that angle in sexagesimal system by pi radian divided by 180 so which is equal to this is minus 125 by 2 now you can't write degree here okay into 
pi radian divided by 180. Now it is converted into radian. Is that clear? So you can cancel here. Uh, it can be cancelled by 5. This is 5 twos are 10, 5 fives are 25. This is uh, 5 threes are 15. 18 minus 15 is 3, 30. 30, that is 5 six are 30, isn't it? 5 six are 30. Is that clear to all of you? Now, can you cancel these 25 and 36 now? No. So you cannot cancel it. So what is the answer? Which is equal to minus 25 by 25 pi radian divided by this is your 72. 2 into 36 is 72. So this is the final answer. Okay. So minus 62 degree 30 minutes in terms of radian is minus 25 pi radian divided by 72. So that is the final answer. So I think I've understood it. Okay. So you can copy it. Now we'll do the next question. So now we'll do the next question that is uh, question number seven, okay? So question number seven is 52 degree, 52 degree, 52 minutes, 52 minutes and 30 seconds. So how can you convert this 52 degree, 30, uh, 52 minutes and 30 seconds in terms of circular measure or in terms of radian? So in this case also, first of all, you have to convert <coughs> First of all, you have to convert this second into minutes and minutes into degrees. Okay, so how can you convert seconds into minutes? You know that one minute single dash means minute and double dash means seconds. So you know that one minute is equal to 60 seconds. You know that, isn't it? one minute is equal to 60 seconds but we are converting seconds into minutes first okay so that's why you have to write these seconds on the left hand side seconds on the left hand side and minute on the right hand side junse term chai timale ni sach ya chai hamile second line minute ma change gardai chu the second line minute ma change gardai so bhane minute should be on the right hand side and the second should be on the left hand side and we know that 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute so or now 1 seconds is equal to 1 by 60 minute isn't it that is 1 seconds is equal to 1 by 60 minutes so whenever you have to convert seconds into minutes then you have to divide that seconds by 60 okay so now in this case this 30 seconds in this case this 30 seconds should be converted into minutes okay so that 30 seconds should be divided by 60 so which is equal to now this is 52 degree now this is 52 30 by 60 now this is minute so it is converted into minutes okay so now 31 are 30 32 are 60 so which is equal to now this is 52 degree and this is 52 and half minute so let us convert this minute let us convert this mixed fraction into fraction first of all you have to convert this minute into degrees, isn't it? So first of all, you have to convert this mixed fraction into fraction. So which is equal to now this is 52 degree. So within bracket, what is 52 and half in terms of fraction? So this is 2 to the 4 plus 1 is 5. 2 to the 4 plus 1 is 5. So it is 5 to the 10. Whole divided by 2. That is minute. Is that clear? 
So I already told you about how to convert this minute into degrees. So in order to convert this minute into degrees, that minute should also be divided by 60 in order to convert into degrees. Okay. So which is equal to now this is 52. It is already in degree. Now this 105 divided by 2 divided by 60. Now it is in terms of degree. Is that clear? So let us simplify it further. So it is 52, 105 divided by 2 and 60 are in the denominator. You cannot cancel it. 2 and 60 are both in the denominator. So it is 2 into 60. It is 120 degrees. So I think you have understood it. So let us simplify it further. It can be cancelled by 5. So this is 5 twos are 10, 5 ones are 5. So this is 5 twos are 10, isn't it? 5 twos are 10, 20, 5 fours are 20. Is that clear? So now this is 52, 21 by 24 degree. I think you have understood it. Okay. So now again it can be cancelled. 21 by 24. Uh, like cancel 3 7s are 28, 3 8s are 24. So which is equal to this is 52 7 upon 8 degree. Is that clear to all of you? So I think you have understood it. Okay. Now this is your mixed fraction. So let us convert it into fraction now. So first of all multiply 52 and 8. Now 52 is multiplied by 8. So 8 twos are 16, 6, 1, 8 fives are 40 plus 1 is 41, isn't it? 8 twos are 16, 6, 1, 8 fives are 40 plus 1 is 41. 40 plus 1 is 41. Okay. Now 7 is added here. Now we can add this 7 plus. Okay. Now 7 is added here. 7 plus 6, 13. 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, then it is 4. So it is 423. Okay. So which is equal to this is 423 divided by 8 degree. It is 423 divided by 8 degree. Now you have to convert into radians. Now you can convert into radians now. So now these degrees should be multiplied by pi by 180. I already told you about that, isn't it? So so in this case 423 divided by 8 should be multiplied by pi radian divided by 180 so it is converted into circular measure so whenever you have to whenever you have to convert degree into radian that degree should be multiplied by pi by 180 but you should not write their degrees okay so it can be cancelled by 3. 3 ones are 3, 12. 3 fours are 12, 3 ones are 3. So it is 3 six are 18 and 0. Okay. Uh, will it be cancelled again? Yes. It can be cancelled by 3. Uh, 3 fours are 12, isn't it? 3 fours are 12. 14 minus 12 is 2, 21. 3 sevens are 21. 3 lay like the time, 60 lay. 3 twos are 6, 3 zeros are 0. So which is equal to now, it is 47 pi radian divided by 8 into 20 is 160. That is 8 zeros are 0, 8 twos are 16. So this is the final answer. So I think you have understood it. What is 52 degree, 52 minutes, 30 seconds in terms of radian? It is 47 pi radian divided by 160. So that is the final answer. So I think I've understood it. So you can copy it. Now we'll do the next question.
ಅದು ಸ ನಾವು ವಿಲ್ ಡು ದ ನೆ ನಾವು ವಿಲ್ ಡು ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಏಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಮಿನಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸರ್ಕುಲರ್ ಮೇಜರ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೈ ರೇಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಮಿನಟ್ ನಾವು ಯು ನೋ ಹೌ ಟು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಮಿನಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡಿವೈಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಬೈ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಮಿನಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಮಿನಟ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಾಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಡೇ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಡೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಹೋಗಿ ಸರ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಟೂ ಸಾರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸಾರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಟು ಅಪಾನ್ ಫೈವ್ ಮಿನಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಸೊ ನಾವು ವಿದ್ ಇನ್ ಬ್ರ್ಯಾಕೆಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟು ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಫ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ಯು ನೋ ದಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸಾರ್ ಏಟಿ ಏಟಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಈಸ್ ಏಟಿ ಟು ಏಟಿ ಟು ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಫೈವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಿನಟ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಮಿನಟ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಮಿನಟ್ಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಡಿಗ್ರೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಯು ನೋ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಮಿನಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡಿವೈಡ್ ದಟ್ ಮಿನಟ್ ಬೈ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಅಗೇನ್ so which is equal to that is 40 it is already in degrees 82 by 5 divided by 60 now it is in terms of what degrees so i think i've understood it so which is equal to now this is 40 82 divided by 5 into 60 this is in terms of what degrees so i think you have understood it okay so now you can cancel here 60 and 82 it can be cancelled by two first this is 2 4 za 8 2 1 za 2 this is 2 3 za 6 2 0 za 0 30 so now you cannot cancel out here so which is equal to now this is 40 41 divided by this is your 150 now it has been converted into degrees so i think you have understood it so we are simplifying it now you have to convert this mixed fraction in terms of fraction okay so now first of all you multiply 150 by 40 so 150 by 40 let us multiply it 150 multiplied by 40, right? This double zero are there. So you should write this double zero. Uh, 15 fours are, four fives are, four fives are 20, zero, two. Four ones are four plus two is six. This is your 6,000. And you have to add 41 here. So if you add 41 here, you get 60, 41. That is 6,041. So which is equal to now, this is 6,041 divided by 150 this is degrees so i think you have understood it so we have converted these seconds minutes into degrees okay so now we have to convert this sexagesimal system in terms of circular measure that means you have to convert this degree in terms of pi radian so i already told you that in order to convert this degree into pi radian you have to multiply that degree by pi radian by 180. So which is equal to now this is 6041 divided by 150. 150 into pi radian divided by this is 180. So can it be cancelled? 180 and 6041, will it be cancelled? No, it will not be cancelled. Okay, just multiply them. So, which is equal to now? This is 6041 pi radian divided by now multiply 180 by 150. 
So 180 by 150. Let us multiply them. Uh, 0, 0 is a 0, 0, 8 is a 0, 0, 1 is a 0. Again, now multiply by 5, 5 zero is a 0, 5 eight is a 40, 0, 4, 5 ones are 5 plus 4 is 9. Now double cross, 1 zero is a 0, 1 eight is a 8, 1 ones are 1. So 0, 0, 0, this is 7, 2. 9 plus 8 is 7 in 7, 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, that is 27,000. So this is 27,000. So this is the answer. That is, we have converted this 40 degrees 60 minutes 24 seconds in terms of radian, which is 6041 pi radian divided by 27,000. So that is the final answer. So I think I've understood it. Okay, so you can copy it. Now we'll do the next question. So now we'll do the next question that is question number three in triangle ABC. So there is a triangle ABC. AC is equal to BC. That is the two sides are equal. That is AC is equal to BC. And here BC is extended up to the point D. The side BC is extended. It is produced up to the point D. And in the question it is given that if angle ACD is equal to 144 degree, then let us determine the circular value of each of the angles of triangle ABC. So in the question, a triangle ABC is given in which the two sides AC and BC are equal and the side BC is produced up to the point D. And it is given that angle ACD is equal to 144 degree. So you have to de determine the circular measures of the values of all the angles of the triangle ABC. Is that clear? The here question ma kete ko sa banda bari out of triangle ABC de ko sa. Tiyo ABC triangle ma chai duita side AC ra BC ke banda cha equal bane ra banda cha. Ani tes ma side BC is produced. BC la cha alik bada ra deep point sa ma logyo. And in the case angle ACD is 144 degrees. So, what do you do? The triangle ABC is the first angle in terms of circular measure. That is in terms of radian. Is that understood now? So, let us draw the figure now. Let us draw the triangle ABC first. So, let us draw this triangle ABC. Okay. Now this ABC is drawn. So now in this case, this is A, this is B, and this is C. So here ABC is a triangle. Now in this case, the two sides are equal. Which two sides are equal? AC is equal to BC. This is AC is equal to BC. This AC is equal to BC. Okay, so in this case, the two sides AC and BC are equal. That means it is an isosceles triangle. Okay. So now the side BC is extended up to the point D. Now this BC is extended up to the point D. Now it is produced up to the point D. Is that clear? Now by question, what is angle ACD? What is the value for angle ACD? This is your 144 degree. This is your 144 degree. So I think I have understood it. Okay. So now you have to find out the angles of the triangle ABC in terms of circular measure. So first of all, let us calculate the angles of the triangle ABC in terms of sexagesimal system. That means in terms of degrees. Okay. So now you can easily calculate this C. You know that this is a straight line. And in a straight line, this angle C, straight angle is 180 degree. 
so if you subtract 144 degree from 180 degree you will get angle ACB you know that isn't it you have done it in class 8 I think so uh, here angle ACD is equal to how much is it what is angle ACD it is 144 degree right so therefore angle ACB will be equal to this is 180 degree minus 144 degree so or now here angle ACB is equal to what is it what is 180 minus 144 10 minus 4 is 6 this is 7 7 minus 4 is 3 that is your 36 degree so this is your 36 degree is that understood now so now we have to calculate these two angle that is angle a and angle b and you know that this ac is equal to bc if ac is equal to bc then their adjacent angles are equal then these two angles are always equal because this is an isosceles triangle isn't it in isosceles triangle if ac is equal to bc then these two angles are always equal is that clear so now what is angle CAB and angle ABC? So now in this case, therefore, angle BAC plus angle ABC plus this angle ACB. ACB is equal to what? This is 180 degree, right? You know that in triangle ABC, sum of the three angles of the triangle is equal to 180 degree, okay? And you know that this angle BAC plus and angle ABC, these two angles are always equal. So instead of angle ABC, you may write angle BAC, isn't it? Because in this case, angle BAC is equal to angle ABC. So here you can write, since AC is equal to BC, therefore angle Therefore, angle BAC is equal to angle ABC. So if these two sides are equal, that is AC is equal to BC, then these two angles are always equal. Okay, that is angle BAC is equal to angle ABC. So here you can write angle BAC plus. So instead of angle ABC, you can write angle BAC. This is angle BAC plus. What is angle ACB? Angle ACB is 36 degree. You can write here 36 degree is equal to 180 degree. So or now this is angle BAC plus angle BAC twice angle BAC is equal to 180 degree minus this is your 36 degree or this is twice angle BAC is equal to now subtract it 10 minus 6 is 4 10 minus 6 is 4 now this is 7 minus 3 is 4 this is 144 degree. Or what is angle BAC now? This is 144 degree divided by 2. Or angle BAC is equal to this is your 72 degree. So what is angle BAC? Angle BAC is 72 degree. And also what is angle ABC? Because this since these two angles are always equal in case of this isosceles triangle. So therefore, angle ABC is also 72 degree. So I think you have understood it. So we have found out all the angles of the triangle. Okay, that is angle BAC is equal to 72 degree, angle ABC is equal to 72 degree, and angle ACB is equal to 36 degree. But you have to convert it into radian in terms of circular measure. So let us convert it. So therefore, what is angle BAC? Angle BAC is equal to 72 degree. We have found it. Okay. So now let us convert this degree in terms of radian. Your 72 degree line, Mickey Malanzo, radians Malanzo. So you know how to convert into radians. 72 into it should be multiplied by pi radian by 180 is that clear now so it can be cancelled by 6 
6 1s are 6, 7 1s are 6, 2 6 2s are 12, 6 3s are 18, 0. Again, it can be cancelled by 6, isn't it? 6 2s are 12, 6 5s are 30, which is equal to 2 pi radian divided by 5. So it is 2 pi radian divided by 5. That is, what is angle BAC in terms of radian? It is 2 pi radian by 5. So similarly, what is angle ABC? Angle ABC is also 72 degree. And we have just found out 72 degree in terms of radian. That is 2 pi radian divided by 5. Is that clear? Now, what is angle ACB? What is angle ACB is equal to now? Angle ACB is equal to 36 degree. So let us convert into radians. 36 into pi radian divided by 180. Is that clear? So 36 let put a bag and say like 36 ones are 36, 36 fives are 180 is equal to this is pi radian divided by 5. So these are the angles of the triangle in terms of circular measure. So these are the angles of the triangle ABC in terms of circular measure. That is what is angle A? What is angle BAC is equal to 2 pi radian by 5? What is angle B? That is what is angle ABC is equal to 2 pi radian by 5? And what is angle ACB in terms of radian? That is pi radian divided by 5. So I think you have understood it. So you can copy it. Now we'll do the next question. So now let's do the next question that is question number four. Uh, same exercise, let us work out exercise 20. Okay, so question number four is if the difference of two acute angles of a right angle triangle is 2 pi by 5. So this angle is given in terms of radian. So then let us write the sexage decimal value of these two angles. So you have to write down the sexage decimal value of the two angles. That means you have to write it in terms of radian. Okay, so in the question a right angle triangle is given. So obviously one angle is 90 degree and the other two angles are the acute angles. And in the question it is given that the difference of these two acute angles is 2 pi by 5. It is, it is given in terms of radian. So you have to find out those two acute angles in terms of sexagesimal system. That is in terms of degrees. Is the question clear? What a right angle triangle they go sir. I know. So you have right angle triangle that goes on obviously your angle got 90 degree on the orco do it angles a key answer acute angles answer the two do it acute angle or difference a coty one they go sir 2 pi by 5 so you say I'm like him at in terms of radiance my degos takes a so you have to find out those two angles in terms of sex has decimal system sex has decimal system money go you have to find out those two angles in terms of degrees okay so let us draw the figure now. Let us draw the right angle triangle. So you know that this is a right angle triangle. So this is a right angle triangle that is A, B, C and this is your 90 degree and these two angles are the acute angles. Their difference is given in terms of radian that is 2 pi by 5. Okay. So in triangle ABC in triangle ABC, angle B is equal to 90 degree. And the other two angles are acute angle. And other two angles, and other two angles are acute angles. Are acute angles. Let these angles be and let these angles be alpha and beta. So this is read as alpha, right? So this is a Greek letter. So this is alpha. This is known as what? Alpha. This is a Greek letter. And this is known as what? Beta. So, so now you should know this Greek letter also. And you know that this is theta. 
this is known as what theta okay so let us use this Greek letter now so suppose one of the acute angle is alpha and the other one is beta suppose this is alpha this is alpha and suppose this is beta now in the question it is given that the difference of these two acute angle is 2 pi by 5 that is therefore by question what do you mean by difference difference means subtraction that is alpha minus beta is equal to 2 pi by 5 so you can convert into degrees it is uh, so you can easily convert into degrees 2 into pi means 180 degree pi means 180 degree okay so it is 180 degree divided by 5 so you can cancel here 5 ones are 5 5 threes are 15 18 minus 15 is 3 30 5 six are 30 so which is equal to this is your 72 degree that is alpha minus beta is equal to what it is 72 degree let us mark it as number one okay so now next again you have to form the second equation in terms of alpha and beta this is the there are two unknown quantities alpha and beta so if there are two unknown quantities there should there should be two simultaneous equation if there are two unknown quantities there should there should be two simultaneous equation like this one is alpha minus beta is equal to 70 degree and the other may be alpha plus beta okay so if one equation is alpha minus beta other equation must be in terms of alpha plus beta is equal to some angle so this is the equation in terms of alpha minus beta is equal to 72 degree so now we have to find out alpha plus beta in terms of degrees okay so now you know that the sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree so it is already 90 degree that means what will be the sum of these two angles it should be 90 because you know that the sum of the three angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree sum of the three angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree you know that isn't it so if this is 90 degree already the sum of these two angles should be 90 degree so 90 degree plus 90 degree is 180 degree isn't it so sum of these two acute angles must be equal to 90 degree so we know that alpha plus beta should be equal to 90 degrees suppose this is number two now you can easily find out those two acute angles alpha and beta by solving these two simultaneous equations right so let us add them so here beta beta gets cancelled alpha plus alpha 2 alpha and this is 2 9 plus 7 is 16 so it is 162 degrees so what is alpha is equal to 162 degree divided by 2 or what is alpha now it is 81 degree what is the value for alpha it is 81 degree now we have to get the value for beta putting the value of beta putting the value of beta in 1 so let us put the value of beta in 1 either you can put it in equation 1 or you can put it in equation number two okay so let us put it in equation number one so therefore alpha minus beta is equal to 72 degree or what is alpha here 81 degree minus beta is equal to 72 degree or 81 degree minus 72 degree is equal to beta or this is 81 minus 72 is 9 degree is equal to beta that is beta is equal to this is your 99 degree what is beta is equal to 9 degree so what are those two angles in sexagesimal system it is 81 degree and 9 degree therefore the two angles are so let, let us write down the answer therefore the two angles are therefore the two angles are what are they it is 81 degree and 9 degree 81 degree and 9 degree so these are the final answer so i think you have understood it this question is very very important you can mark it so i think you have understood it try to understand it you can copy it 
ओके तो आज हम ये तीन ही गर्सों तो आज जब तक भी नहीं प्रॉब्लम्स आ रही है तो सब एक और मैं रिवीजन करने थे मैंने ठीक सा सो इन द नेक्स्ट ऑनलाइन क्लास वील डू मोर प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन दिस चैप्टर दैट इज कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मेजरमेंट ऑफ एंगल्स ओके सो दिस मस्ट इज फॉर टुडे